द एसेंशियल नीड्स ऑफ एवरी लिविंग थिंग और फूड एंड शेल्टर इन एडिशन टू दैट ह्यूमन बींग्स यूज क्लोथ्स एंड फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स वॉट आर द एसेंशियल नीड्स नाउ फूड शेल्टर एंड क्लोथ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ डू एनिमल्स फाइंड देयर फूड वाट डू एनिमल्स ईट चाप्टर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चाप्टर वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द लिविंग थिंग्स फूड हैबिट्स एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द लिविंग थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर फूड हैबिट्स वाट आर द क्लासेस ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर फूड हैबिट्स कार्नियोर्स हर्ब्योर्स एंड ओमनियोर्स वाट आर कैर्नियोर्स द कैर्नियोर्स आर द लिविंग थिंग्स दट विच ईट फ्लैश ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड हेरब्योर्स आर द लिविंग थिंग्स दट विच ईट पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लैंड्स एंड ओमनियोर्स आर द लिविंग थिंग्स विच ईट बोथ पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लैंड्स एंड एज वेल एज फ्लैश ऑफ एनिमल्स सो we have to understand the living things are broadly divided based on their food habits into three categories three classes like this okay and students in this video what i'm going to talk to you is from finding food to eating food okay students what are the sources of food of every living thing in the nature plants and animals right plants and animals are the main sources of food in our surroundings like human beings animals also depend on these sources of food every animal has its own style of getting food you know they track down collect grab or hunt and then use various tools to finally take food into the mouth students here tools in the sense not like any objects animals use their body parts as tools to find or track down or collect or grab or hunt okay and finally it takes the food into its mouth so from finding food to eating the food the animals follow different processes different methods different body parts okay students and here how do animals track down food let us talk about now most of the animals feed their own food okay but they have to locate the food where the food is located like that they have to locate the food to do this what do they do they use a wide range of senses like smell sight hearing taste and touch so these are the main senses of the living things okay did you understand this how the animals use the sense organs in search of their food they use some of the sense organs present in its body right some of the sense organs present in its body in search of their food the animals depend on one or two sense organs so that those one or two sense organs are highly developed in them that we have to understand next let's consider more examples to understand this better what how the sense organs are developed in living things in search of food which sense organs are developed more and more in finding their food okay which sense organs are developed better in search of their food let's understand or uh, let's consider some examples to understand this better okay here here we need to understand uh, some answers to these questions what do you think the dog does to find its food which sense of the dog do you think is more developed obviously we have already discussed about the dog sniffing the dog sniffs before it eats its food okay so which sense organ is developed better than other sense organs in its body obviously we can say nose yes what about the vultures 
they fly high above in the sky yet find their food on the ground which sense organ do they mainly use in finding their food yes we can understand vultures developed their vision here we can understand what the vultures developed vision so which sense organ is that eye eye is the sense organ in its body and therefore it's developed better than other sense organs present in its body okay right students now let us talk about other living thing that's bat how do bats find their food at night do you know students did you ever see the bats flying at daytime no when do the bats fly most of us see the bats flying at night okay now you have to understand how do the bats find their food which sense organ in its body is developed better than other sense organs in finding its food yes its ears are developed better than other sense organs present in its body because it finds its food by hearing okay by hearing okay thus we have seen that animals use some sense organs more strongly to find their food for example dog use the sense of smell while vultures use vision and bats depend more on hearing okay while some reptiles like snakes and lizard and other you know other reptiles some of the examples you just find for reptiles and how do they find their food by tasting okay so which sense organ is developed in this tongue yes you're right tongue is the sense organ which is well developed in reptiles in finding its food okay students like this the sense organs are developed some of the living things which help in finding their food okay if you ever go near a pond observe the pond skater there observe how quickly they move from one side of the pond to other to catch the insect that falls in water did you ever see a pond skater pond skater that quickly that quickly moves from one side of the pond to another when an insect falls in water why it quickly moves like that to catch the food to catch the insect as quickly as possible see here pond skater it detects the it detects the ripples produced in water by any other insect trapped on the water surface they compare the ripples on the opposite side of the pond caused by the legs of the insect struggling to move from move out from water and it calculates who calculates pond skater calculates the distance and set out to grab it this is how the pond skater catches its food which falls on the water surface okay students another sub concept of the chapter is collecting food many animals have specialized body parts such as mouth parts hands or feet that help them collect their food most efficiently okay students how do the animals collect their food here finding the food is one thing how do the animals find their food using their sense organs but is it enough only finding the food is not enough but collecting and capturing the food is quite different it's also very important thing in every living thing yeah students here 
we have talked about from finding food to eating it what from finding food to eating it and also we talked about tracking down of the food see students here in finding food and eating it and tracking down the food the living things used their sense organs and some of the living things use one or two sense organs and they are well developed because they use that sense organ better than other sense organs in its body now only finding the food and tracking it down is enough do you think no right but finding food is one thing but collecting it and capturing it is quite another most of the animal body parts like mouth parts hands feet that help them collect their food as efficiently as possible okay students as efficiently as possible now to understand this better we have to do an activity you know to understand this better we have to do an activity so the activity is in the tabular form and this we will see in the next class and in this video we have talked about from finding food to eating it and tracking down the food by using the sense organs especially sense organs of the living things okay and uh, we have also talked about how pond skater finds its food and catches or grabs the food which falls on the water surface pond skater you know pond skater means it's an insect which can walk on the water surface okay which can walk on the water surface students so you just try to understand this matter and whatever you have understood whatever you have understood in this video you please note it down in your notebook and present it in our whatsapp group students thank you for listening thank you one and all